What up, guys? It's Jeff from the YG Underground, um, and I'm here to talk to you about Shadals. Now, the deck's gone through a lot of stuff lately. Uh, the last tournament we saw was YCS Bokum. There's several ARGs coming up, and there's the 150th YCS, and I know a lot of people are going to play it, Like, and I don't see why you would, because I think it's the best deck. It literally plays the best Floodgate of the format. Mistake. Even with Star Seraphs, you can play Mistake, and you flip up a Mistake like Oppression. Like, it literally just says no to all the other decks. You have to have MST, and who's playing MST main deck game one? I'm not, because then you just lose all those games when you're playing against Necros. It's just not where you want to be right now. So, I want to talk about a little bit of what I've seen. A little bit of the controversy. I want to break it down. Um, I've seen a lot of controversy on whether or not to play Mistake or to have Mind Crush. Let me just tell you, Mind Crush is cool and all, and it works well with Crush card, but at the same time, like, if you are if you have, like, multiple Mind Crush, sure, you, you're, like, taking lots of cards out of their hand. But at the same time, like, just because the card's, like, not in their hand anymore, it's in the grave, doesn't mean it's over. Like, they can just banish that ritual spell card, like, you would have to hit the Trish or something, and even then they can just keep searching. The one thing you want to do is you want to stop them searching. If you stop Necroz searching, that's game. And I, and I only say Necroz is the number one example, because I think that's, like, what a lot of people consider to be the best deck. I think Mistake is literally just the card that stops them. They don't search anymore, and even if you're playing the Star Seraphs, you flip it like oppression, and then you just win. Like, you have your big board, you have this, and bam, you're off to the races. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is if you're playing the Star Seraph engine, I th this is a card that I think you have to play, and this is called Haunted. Alright, now you're like, oh my gosh, called Haunted, what? Let's think about this. It, let's say you're playing Star Seraphs, and everybody else starts playing Star Seraphs. You need a card to answer the Star Seraph. Like, you know, like, because that combo is just broken. It's a wombo combo. You, you draw two and you have field presence. That's just awesome. So what I'm suggesting is, if you play Call of the Haunted, you essentially get to... Summon your guy, special your guy, draw a card. They max C, they won for one, sure. Okay, so then they probably kill your scepter just in case you overlay or PS is 1800 and it's easier to kill. So then what I'm suggesting is you call the haunted during that end phase, search again, special again, and draw, and then you have your combo, you overlay, and if even if they don't have any cards on the field, you can still pop your call the haunted when you X, X, X Y Z, and then you're drawing another card. Call the Haunted replaces itself so many different ways. If you call the Haunted back a Construct, first off, it's not from the extra deck. Second of all, any time Construct is special, you get a plus. So you send that Falco in the end phase of your opponent's turn. So then you flip that Falco back up, you get a plus again. That's a huge plus right there. Um, you call the Haunted that Construct in the end phase and send a Hedgehog to search the Squamata to go off for another play. Like... You, you literally just keep on your combo. And you want to ride that combo all day. Alright. Um, and essentially, what I've seen a lot of people do, and I don't necessarily agree with this, there's a lot of Dark Hole and Regeki running around, is a lot of people call back Christia, and they'll play Christia in their Shadals along with the Star Seraphs, just in case they get the four light fairies in there, they just like drop Christia. Because Construct's a fairy, and so are the Star Seraphs. And I'm I'm pretty sure that's it. Like, unless you want to play, like, a Herald and some weird stuff like that. But that's basically the your, your best bet. Alright, so the next card I want to talk about is the new Water Fusion that came out. And it's pretty good. Like, I'm not going to lie. I still feel like you shouldn't rely on it for game, because... People already try to out the Djinn lock, so now they just have to also out the, 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 whatever his name is, the water fusion. So, it means, like, 
simple cards like Para Para Cerebus, Cerberus, um, and Dark Hole Regeki, stuff like that. So I don't think you need to invest, you know, a bunch of money into getting three Water Fusion, because, let's be honest, that doesn't help your combos. It literally is just a monster you summon and protect. protect. And let's, rem let's just think about this. If you're wasting all your resources to protect a card, that means you're not furthering your combo, which is what you're supposed to do in Strahls. You're supposed to further your combo. So what I'm suggesting is you, if you're going to try to, like, get this on the board, get this Water Fusion on the board, you should only try to use, like, Shadal Core. Um, another thing I like to do is when I'm playing against Necroz, I'll side in Mind Control. So that way if they leave their 2-3 defense guy on the board, Colossalus, I think it is, or if they leave their Unicorn, or even a Valk or something, you just Mind Control it, fuse it away, and then bam. Off to the races. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Game. That's just how it goes. Um, I honestly think this is also a good option to side. Like, instead of siding Shop Troopers of the Ice Barrier or Treeborn Frog, you side a copy of Nef Shadal Fusion. Because basically it's the equip. You you equip it, you change the attribute of your Shadal monster, and then, bam, you make the... the Water fusion, or you make construct if you're not in that way, so you're not stuck with one option, or even you make check. You know, it's it's fine. You don't have to rely on your your cards only being good for one thing. And treeborn doesn't even seem that good because you're playing mistake. You should be playing mistake, and if you're not, I'm really disappointed in you. But yeah, so you you can't bring back treeborn if you have that mistake rolling around, and. You, some people may argue, well, if you have a mistake, you're winning anyway. Well, no, you, you want to have as many options to shut them down as possible. You want to have your, your mistake, you want to have this card that I'm about to talk to, and you want to have your water fusion, or you want to have a big big beater. So I really recommend Nefshadal Fusion. It seems scrubby, but you should try it, especially with this other card I talked about, Enphase, Flip Call, Bring Back Squamata. Next turn, activate the Nefshadal Fusion on it make it a water monster, fuse it away, or what I've seen a lot of people do is they'll call the haunted con well, I haven't seen a lot. I've done this a lot. I'll call the haunted uh, construct, I'll quit Nef Shaw Fusion onto the construct, and then I'll call water, right? And I'll then send the equip card to the grave and fuse into like Winda or something. You know, you don't absolutely need it. Um, okay, so I really, really like this card, and it was cited at YCS Bokum in the side deck, and the guy said it was, like, the most amazing secret tech he could play, and, you know, it is a secret. It's, uh, Secret Village of the Spellcasters. All I can say is, when you activate this card, you summon Mathematician, there's, like, almost nothing I can think of, like, in the deck that can get over it. Like, they can't activate any spells. Manju and Senju are 1400. You can't get over math. It's 102 weak. Um, you can't activate Book of Eclipse. You can't activate any of those jank cards. I mean, the only thing you can do is if you're siding Denko, and you're siding Denko against Shadals, summon the Denko, attack over the math. You get to draw a card, and then your opponent gets to do their thing. So, I mean, unless they're trishing you, there's nothing else. And then also, Secret Village plus Mistake plus Math, or you know, even Winda, especially Winda. You can't get you can't get over this. Let me pull out. Let me pull this bad boy. Let me, let me pull out my boy Winda. You can't. This is this is game. These three cards are game, man. You you can't you can't get over that. Two two. And you can't summon monsters. You can't activate spell cards. You can't get over two two. You can't torrential this bad boy. You can't dark hole. You can't regeki. It's, it's game. And then you got a mistake. So like, let's say they have like dust tornado, which it's fine. They have paro paro. They kill this. It's fine. You have this now. This is game. 
get out of here. You're not, you're not doing nothing. Okay, maybe maybe they can do something. But then you have Maxis and Valors, and you just doo, 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 stop them. All right, guys. Um, I can't really think of anything else I want to say. Um, hit me up on comments below. Comment, rate, subscribe. Come on, guys. Let's get these subscribers up. I know you're out there. I know you're watching these videos. Don't think I haven't seen the thousands of views we have. Alright, guys. Peace out. See you on DN. Remember, I'm the Dougie Master, and this is the YGO Underground.